Hey there guys, welcome back to another video with me, Ben Rogachon, aka The Seattle Data Guy. Today we're gonna to talk about why I quit Facebook, especially since now <laughs> the stock price has plummeted to even below when I started. And I started Facebook around 2018 when we were dealing with all of the Cambridge Analytica stuff, or at least the backlash from it. And the stock price was around, I think like 130 $5 and I never thought it would go below that. So it's crazy to see it below that, but I think it's a great time to kind of bring up why I quit Facebook after three years of working there. Well, I'm going to break this into a few different sections, which the first part will be kind of the things I liked about Facebook. And the second part will be a little more of the reason why I quit. So let's quickly talk about what I did enjoy about Facebook. First of all, my team was filled with a ton of smart people. I mean, one person on my team had a PhD um, and everyone was always pushing out code and just trying to always challenge and find new opportunities to drive value. And Facebook just provided a lot of opportunities for said value. Um, I got to essentially be an intern manager where I actually had to be graded on my ability to actually manage an intern project as well as an intern. I got a ton of autonomy where I could basically pick whatever project I wanted to work on as long as it drove value. And they just gave you a lot of personal independence. And that's not always the same case in every company. Sometimes, especially in cases where I've worked, it's like you have to kind of just work with whatever projects exist currently. So it was a lot of fun. Like I really did enjoy working there. Um, also, you got to see infrastructure that was really well set up. You got to work on a lot of cool technology, but at the end of the day, you know, you just ran into certain issues. So let's talk about why I quit. Now, first of all, when I joined Facebook, I also had my consulting company. I've been consulting in the data engineering, data infrastructure world. Honestly, ever since I got out of college, uh, it just kind of happened that when I got my first job, someone asked me to start doing consulting work. So I set up Seattle Data Guy, and that's honestly where it all started. After that, it did get a lot harder to get clients uh, up until recently. You know, after that first client, you know, I do a lot in terms of creating content, but I slowly started to find kind of a rhythm, probably around year three as I started putting out content. And as I was working at Facebook, more and more people started to reach out to me. Um, I started working with another consultant and started seeing how she set up all of her projects. And I honestly realized there was a couple benefits that I could get if I left Facebook. So here's the reason why I ended up quitting Facebook. So reason one was I got to learn a ton more in terms of skill sets. When you work for Facebook or any large company, especially a large tech company, all of the technology is very internal. It's very proprietary. You know, it's been developed by Facebook and not all of those skills will translate 100% externally. Yes, you can kind of build some of those products externally. Um, when you look at things like Presto, that's what created Trino. And then after Trino, you have Starburst data. There were a lot of projects that started internally uh, at big tech companies that then became startups. A similar thing can be said about things like Big Eye or Datafold in the data quality space where they both started from Uber and Lyft. But for the most part, if you just stick at these big tech companies, you kind of just become a cog in the wheel. You know, a lot of people's complaints about working at Facebook, especially is you're just writing a lot of SQL statements that are then parameterized with Python. And that's not exactly what all engineering people want to do. And it can definitely get a little repetitive. So after working there three years, I just kind of found it time to leave and time to find new challenges external to Facebook. So part of it was I wanted to work on different technologies, test out you know, everything else that exists out in the data world and not be too limited uh, by the stuff that had worked down at Facebook. Another truth is you are very kind of trapped in the Facebook system. And that's to say that if you want promotions or if you want to kind of take on projects that are kind of expanding your knowledge, you have to find things inside of Facebook that will do that. And that can sometimes feel limiting when there are a thousand other data engineers who are all essentially trying to do the same thing. You know, everyone's trying to find that next project and that kind of puts you in a box sometimes. In addition, you're kind of limited to whatever the PSE or performance review cycle tells you you're going to get in terms of promotion or raises and that can feel a little limiting. So I wanted to kind of break out from that as well where I wanted to see like, hey, can I define things myself? Can I define what performing at a high level is without having a company behind that? Because you know, a company will always define it in the best uh, interest of the company and not necessarily in the best interest of yourself. And hopefully those things align, but they don't always. So that was another reason I kind of ended up leaving. Of course, another very fair reason was, you know, as soon as I started doing kind of more in the consulting space. So by the end of the year, I had earned about the same amount, both consulting and working uh, at Facebook, but I was always very exhausted, very tired. You know, I was probably sleeping uh, four to five hours a night trying to somehow manage my Facebook workload while also trying to manage all of my consulting and something just had to give. You know, it was one of those things where it's just, 
something has to give. You can't continuously work uh, at that rate and either your health goes or you know, you're letting projects drop. And so it was about refocusing my time um, and really trying to be independent and take things on my own and be like, look, I'm going to bet on myself. I'm going to bet on my abilities. I'm going to bet on the fact that I've been putting effort into creating content for the last couple of years and putting it out there for free, whether it's my newsletter, whether it's this YouTube channel, whether it's my blog, whether it's my medium, all of that has been focused around developing my data consulting company. Honestly, it's blown up like this year, you know, looking back, it's been a year and it's honestly kind of wild. Like I have doubled my business since last year. And, and let's just take a quick moment to reflect on this last year, because you know, there's the reason I quit Facebook, which was like, Hey, let me bet on myself, actually make it as a consultant by myself. And since it's been a year, we can kind of answer that question throughout this entire year. I've been building a ton of equity in myself. That is to say, you know, my uh, newsletter has grown like 10 times uh, since I started writing it. My YouTube channel has also, I think at least doubled, if not tripled in size. I've been able to throw several events all over the US and planning multiple more. And there's just a ton of things that keep building upon themselves. Um, and it's really, again, it's building that equity um, in my company, in Seattle Data Guy, uh, and my ability to impact beyond just myself. And I think that's my big goal. It's like, yes, money is great. Obviously no one's going to sit here and pretend that it's not figure out ways how I can incorporate other people, right? Like if you've seen some of my videos, I really try to get other people's perspectives on the whole data engineering, data infrastructure world, because it's so massive that I can't possibly know it all. So that's definitely been another goal is like, Hey, let's get other people into these videos. All of that honestly has been a success thus far. And I really do plan one of my future newsletters to just be like, this is kind of my performance reviewing myself from the last year, because there's been a ton of growth in so many areas for myself. And it's honestly really cool to see because I've taken myself out of just being this cog in a giant machine. You know, I was one of like a thousand other data engineers to being army of one, essentially. Like I've got to be everything. I've got to be the marketing person. I've got to be the person that like hires and, and grows my own company. I've got to find possibly new business. I've got to create partnerships with vendors. I've got to run, you know, three to four projects in general about a month. And I need to figure out how to drive value outside of a company. And honestly, there have been tons of successes in that whole space, a few failures, of course, and I wanna review all of that by the end of the year. And I'll probably do an entire PSE for myself in my newsletter, so if you're not signed up, do check it out. And I'll try to just figure out what I was doing well, what I failed at, what I've learned in the last year. Honestly, there's just been so much I can kind of reflect on. Look, working at Facebook was awesome. It taught me a ton. It probably gave me a little bit of clout, which let me increase my ability to do consulting. And I really do appreciate the time I spent there. Don't get me wrong. Some people ask me why I was even joining Facebook in 2018 because of the whole Cambridge Analytica um, scandal. But it really did, I think, provide a lot of value in terms of kind of changing some of my perspective in what I saw as, again, driving business value. It also gave me a little bit of clout, which let me kind of even further um, increase my brand. And so I'm not gonna sit here and say it was a total waste of time. It was, but the real reason at the end of the day that I quit was I wanted to bet more on myself. I wanted to bet more on my skills. I wanted to expand those skills. I really wanted to take everything that I had learned over the last six to seven years at the time and really just amplify it, really just take that gear up to 11 and figure out how far can I push myself and really going out there beyond just being a data engineer, but finding solutions that are not always technical. Sometimes it's honestly finding the right people or uh, vendor or product that can help simplify a person's workflow without having to engineer an entirely new solution. There have been cases where someone wanted to build an entirely new application and I'm like, well, we could do this for honestly, $50 a month using something like Retool, which is personally one of my favorite internally developed app solutions that exist out there. And no one has paid me to say that. They're so cheap and honestly, they can help you build a solution arguably a 10th of the time. That's like, why pay me a ton of money when I could just know I can build a successful product tomorrow for a company. Obviously you do have to do some requirements gathering, but after that, it's a really fast development process. So it's just, all of these different things that I've learned in terms of how to deliver value, more skills than just typing code. And that's honestly what I wanted to do all this year. I wanted to figure out how do I challenge myself to learn new skills that go beyond just being a pure engineer. And for some of you that might inspire you to quit and create your own consulting company, if you plan to do that, I recommend figuring out a way to get um, some form of streams of future clients, you know, whether it's content, if that's what you're good at, networking, if that's what you're good at, just making sure that you think about where are they gonna come from? Because I honestly quit with the plan and with plenty of customers and clients um, that I was working with. 
So if you're planning to do that, do make sure you have some list or some way that people will want to work with you. But once you're there, like, yeah, bet on yourself. If you've gotten to a point where you have people wanting to work with you, do it. Because at the end of the day, the best thing you can do is always bet on yourself. If you've got the drive and the willingness to do it, it will happen. So anyways, guys, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate all the support you've given me over the last year. I hope to continue to make videos that you guys like watching. Thank you, I will see you guys later and goodbye.